Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's talk about a very interesting topic again, and that's the future of aviation. To be precise, let's talk a little bit about VTOL planes today again. And yeah, what we have right in front of us is a concept of a VTOL plane. Now, VTOL basically means that a plane can take off vertically, and you know, it is believed to be the future of aviation, especially with air taxis coming. You know, you can fly this plane in a city as well well, where there is no runway, for example. But all these VTOL planes, they can also go to horizontal flying mode. So they can turn their engines here and fly it normally like a plane. And they're actually pretty fast at doing that too. Now, yes, actually VTOL planes aren't that much of a new thing. There have been some around for quite a long time, just like planes like the F-35. Yep, this is the F-35 and its probably coolest feature is, yes, its VTOL capabilities. There we go go here we can switch to VTOL mode as you can see this flap comes up and that allows the engine to you know provide vertical power and that allows the plane to lift off vertically let's just do that full power there we go isn't that cool and you know after gaining some altitude you can switch to normal plane mode and yeah this plane is super duper fast as well yeah this is pretty badass not gonna lie and it's probably the coolest feature about the F-35 and yeah this is definitely very 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 practical. This plane can take off and land virtually everywhere around the planet, even on ships and stuff, which obviously offers a lot more possibilities. So yeah, VTOL has been around for quite a long time in the military aviation specifically, but we haven't really seen it in civil aviation just yet. I mean, we have helicopters, right? I mean, you know. But we are actually going to see some VTOL planes in civil aviation in the future, just like the one that we just had. Add. Let's maybe check out this one. This is also an eVTOL plane, meaning that it's electric, which is very, very interesting. Let's go to another place. Yeah, we just took off from the very small little airstrip in the middle of the Idahoan mountains that obviously can only be used by small Piper Cubs, like small planes really, or VTOL planes. Let's try something different. Let's try something like landing on an oil rig or something. That is actually like the main feature of VTOL planes, isn't it? Now, welcome aboard the AG-4, the eVTOL plane here. And we've actually checked out this plane a while ago. All right, right now we're flying in the horizontal mode, meaning that we are flying just like a normal plane would. There we go. Yeah, you see most of today's concept VTOL planes are actually propeller planes. I haven't really seen a lot of jet planes that are VTOL, which is actually kind of interesting because it is obviously uh, possible, perfectly fine. But whatever, let's just try going for the vertical mode and uh, let's see if we can land this plane on the oil rig. I mean, is it a plane or is it a helicopter? I mean, it's, it's something in between, isn't it? All right, there we are. The engines are right now rotating to the vertical position. Oh, oh, oh. All right, something's gone wrong. Oh, something has definitely gone wrong. Jesus. All right, that really didn't work. That is kind of embarrassing now. Yeah, let's uh, just try this again. Now, you can tell that this plane is actually an electric plane because obviously the propellers do not spin when they are on idle, which is an easy way how to tell apart an electric plane, I guess. You know, also our seaplanes have that very same thing going on. So that is that. Now, you know, we have actually tried out quite a lot of plane concepts in the past on this channel. And interesting, Interestingly enough, they all have a side stick. Probably that's the future of planes as well. And for some reason, this plane won't work. Let's try the other one that we had in the beginning of the video. This is kind of weird, actually. This is a payware plane. I paid for this real money. For some reason, it doesn't work anymore. It did work before. But whatever, let's move on to the other plane. You know, we haven't had that one yet, so this can be interesting as well. All right, now we are on another island in the Caribbean. A very short runway, as you can see right in front of us. At this runway, there are only a few planes that are actually allowed to operate. For example, there is the Twin Otter, which is parked on the ramp here. That type of aircraft is actually called a stall plane, which basically means it doesn't need a long runway either. Just like this one, because this doesn't even need a runway at all. Alright, this one works though. Now this is also pretty damn interesting, because as you can see right here, we don't even have any windows in here, which is, um, I don't know why that is, but the cockpit is literally screens. It's not a window. This is in general a very interesting cockpit. It looks like a, it looks like a desk, doesn't it? With, a, with this chair here. Maybe this is actually a drone and not a manned aircraft. I think that is actually the case here. And that is also very cool for cargo, obviously 
and we are dying again. That's not good. Come on. I have regained control. That is good. Now, let's see how fast this plane can go when we go for horizontal flying mode. There we go. Full power with this electric plane. Oh my god, we're faster than a jet, pretty much. The acceleration is pretty crazy. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, this is a pretty nice flight, I would say. And honestly, for stuff like delivering cargo between these very small islands, this would be actually perfect. Because, again, it can be controlled remotably by any person really sitting at home that is able to fly this thing. I apparently am not able to fly this. Oh my goodness. No, this is cool though. You know, that makes flying a little safer as well, because you know, <laughs> if you crash, then no one will obviously be hurt. Unless you crash into the middle of the city, that would not be good. But yeah, this is a, this is a very nice concept as well. And actually, it, it does seem to make a lot of sense, doesn't it? Now, what else did I prepare for this video? Of course, this is a verticopter, which is a Little bit of a different design as you can see. Alright, Pokemon board the Verticopter and what the hell is this? This is a plane of another sort. As you can see right here in the middle of the plane, there are two rotors, quite large ones. And as you can see right here, they can also rotate for the horizontal flying mode. This is what the cockpit looks like. Very nice plane interior, actually. This, uh, this is quite a large plane as well. And here we got a pilot, right? Yeah, now this is not a remote control plane. This is an actual one. Let's see how it flies. Just Go full power and there we go we are off in the air and Jesus Christ. What's wrong with X-Plane now? Yeah, we do have some glitches in the Matrix right now, caused by the plane. What is going on? Jesus. Um, we can, uh, obviously go for horizontal flying mode as well, if I can find the switch for that. I think that's here. There we go. And now we're flying just like a normal plane would. Now, I think this is one of the more unrealistic plane concepts here today, but I mean, it, it kind of does work. Now, in this case, obviously, to land this plane, you cannot land this plane like a normal one because obviously you would hit these huge rotors on the ground. You have to go for helicopter mode again. There we go. Let's try landing this plane now. Now, these VTOL concepts, they are pretty damn cool, especially the electric ones. I think that could actually be the future of, like, short-haul aviation, right? You know, air taxis. I don't think you would be flying over the Atlantic with a plane like this, though. <laughs> I mean, it would kind of be interesting. Let's get the plane landed on the ramp, which is no problem. Actually, the majority of traffic here at this little island of Saba is helicopter after all, so we're not that different. This is kind of cool actually. The gear is already down. We are ready for the landing. By the way, here we got another joystick, another side stick in the cockpit. That is a very interesting one. Okay, now let's get this plane somehow landed. Uh, we're spinning all the time. It's not that easy of a flight. Yeah, you'll probably have to learn how to fly this thing properly. Let's just somehow get it down on the ground. I just want to leave this plane now. I think this is also electric. It sounds like it is. This sounds more of like a fan. <laughs> Let's not land on any of the buildings. All right, and now the landing. Come on. All right, we might have missed that. We might have actually touched down on grass and the actual plane is now damaged. This kind of worked out. I do wonder how you would taxi though. Like, how would you do that? Would you like go for horizontal mode? Oh yeah, you do. All right, it's not really that horizontal mode. It's like between vertical and horizontal, but that is enough for taxiing, I guess. That's actually pretty nice. So yeah, guys, what do you think about VTOL planes? I think it's again, a pretty cool technology, right? And you know, it does work just like this. We could probably build this very plane with the technology that we have today. And there are actual VTOL planes flying out there already. And there have been VTOL planes for years, again, in military aviation. And it's pretty cool. You know, these propeller planes, they can be used for short haul flights, again, air taxis. That is very, very nice. But a plane like this obviously cannot, like, replace a conventional airliner. So, yeah, guys. Alright, so just again, I have to get this video to 10 minutes, so here's some little fun facts to make this video a little longer. Actually, you guys found these facts pretty interesting as well, so I thought of continuing this kind of thing. So here's the first one. Out of all the airports on this planet, one-third are located in the US. Yes, there's 30,000 airports all around the planet, and 10,000 of these are actually located in America. Yeah, you know, America really has just a lot of airports. Another very very interesting fun fact is that around a million people are flying, are airborne at the same time in planes, which is also very interesting. Another very fun fact about the A380 I found was 
that that plane is only able to land on 20 runways in this world, according to the factfile.org, which is also very interesting. Yeah, the A380, it does require quite a special airport with its size. But yeah, that's it for the fun fact. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.